Sorry, there we go. Tournament match timers on, coin flip, best of three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop. Yep. I think it's stupid. Like, you can, you can, like, I'm wanting to avoid the sideboard bug that apparently exists in uh, the thing. But it is what it is. The sideboard bug is that you can't add anything or remove anything to your sideboard. You're stuck with your main deck. And it sucks because I have two dead calling rituals in my main deck. And I'd rather have all my bindings. Not a great start. Also, we want to go heavy on the swamps. Swamp leads. In general, we want to try and get a... All our swamps in order. I guess we'll mill first. Kind of flooding out. Actually... Yeah, I guess we're supposed to do this. Because if we draw a 2-drop, we can play Blood Fountain and hold up a 2-drop. Like, uh... If we had drawn that Deadly Dispute. But yeah, this is a really tough matchup for us. We're not quite aggro enough. I'm really gonna like the, uh, if we don't have a sideboard issue, Graveyard Trespasser is gonna be awesome. In place of Culling Ritual. And this is what I was talking about, you know, it can hold up both. Uh, let's just go to combat. Uh, we might have Smarch, Jawari, Spike Fields. Spike Fields annoying on gas, but we're not really doing anything anyway, so. I do want my second forest down because we have a Shingeki. So, as much as I would love to pitch this forest, I'm not sure if I can. I guess we are, though. It's only one copy in our deck, and we have plenty of opportunities to draw a second green. Alright, well, we wasted our blood token. Alright. And we only have the one creature, so our blood fountain's not a great either. But yeah, this is the kind of matchup that I'm definitely not suited for. Just Kai is a. All of them are pretty brutal. Also, I kind of understand why they wouldn't want to do best of one three times, because there's technically different hand formulas, algorithms, I guess. I was just wanting to do it to avoid the sideboard bug, but it is what it is. Opponent's got a lot of cards, but isn't really doing anything, so. Like that expressive iteration hurt them because they have to discard. Round timer started. But fun's fine. Kind of want to hit my land drop, but we're just going to do this for now. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So the thing about this is, watch what happens here. I'm gonna go for this. It's gonna cost three mana, and they're just gonna counter it with a one mana spell. Because Hinata technically targets. Yeah, that's another option, is just have that. And that's a really good use of it. And this is where I wish I had drawn a land for turn. We're not gonna be doing anything with Diagrass, so I probably should have cycled. Yeah. And this is where we lose. Swirling Mist is insanely good in their deck, because they can just target Hinata for free, for one mana. And that was like perfect too, because I can't interact with it at all. Or just Swirling Mist is definitely a really good card in the meta right now. Yep, you got it. Jawari costs one mana as well. It's just absurd. 
And not as very good. You want a swirling mist, bro? Honestly, wouldn't mind a counter spell here. Because if we get our land drop for turn, we're in a great spot. We can just invoke despair, kill the Hanada. Oh, that's right, we can't cast it because it has the targets on it. Uh, they missed their damage. They went a little too quick and didn't distribute. They targeted two things and then forgot to choose their damage. So now I can pull this off, but I don't think it'll work. I mean, they didn't have a counterspell for that, and they drew. So I don't think they have a counterspell here either. This will be nice to redraw. It's also going to knock him down to 8 HP, which is pretty good for us. Get him down real low. The problem you're going to find, or at least that I'm going to find with this deck very frequently, is closing out the game. Like, I got my opponent to 7 health, now what? <laughs> <sighs> the only thing that has reach is my Invoke Despair. It's really hard to resolve a fat ass and hit for 7. I don't have any man lands. One Hydra would be really good for this deck, but I just, I really... I'm more all in on doing things on turn 5 with Diagraph and everything. Very surprised to see that. There is two inscriptions, so it tracks. There's so many things, what the fuck. Oh, we're back. I was looking at some stuff. Uh, decline. Flooded out pretty badly here. Opponent has a handful of cards, and I have a handful of nothing. I've got one Dockside Chef. Can't even sack a Blood Fountain to get it, it's just not in my interests. What you got, buddy? Three mana. Demon Bolt? You would have foretold if you had Demon Bolt. Prismari? See, this, this always confuses me. Oh no, there was, there was something else I'm thinking of that confuses me. I uh, had an opponent use a Prismari command on the Synthesizer, the card that exiles when it leaves the battlefield. It's very weird, very interesting. They can hard ha hard cast the, uh, what's it call it? Magma Opus here for free, but they're obviously going to pass. See, I, I want to save this uh, Blood Fountain. Also, I, I could have used my Blood Fountain there to draw it so I'd have something here instead of losing this Blood Fountain, right? But holding the mana open, like, discourage them from playing, like, a Hanada here, right? They don't have protection. Or they just have a Magma Opus. <sighs> I really don't want to waste this Blood Fountain. Just to draw a 1-2. Okay. Alright, there's a very important card in our deck. That is a very important card in our deck. That is one of our best ways to remove a Gold Span and a Hanada. So one of the things about man lands that are really good is after your opponent has spent all their resources, you still have a land, and it's very difficult for them to interact with. If they do Prismar Command this time, I'll activate the Blood Fountain, because we can hold up enough mana to like scare off a thing. That or they're just going for the, the tap effect from uh, Magma Opus. I'm pretty sure they're just going for a, a full send. Yeah. Four face, tap this. And I guess we're just going to draw this. I didn't want to draw this, but we're going to do it. And we're just dead to, like, two gold spans. They can't cast two gold spans, but, like, that's... That's where we're at. Like, I was dead to a man land here. If they ever played a Hall of Storm Giants at any point. They have no Hall of Storm Giants. What the fuck? They're just all in on Jeskai. They don't have a single man land. That is so bizarre. That's gotta be a mistake. Like, if they had a Hall of Storm Giants here, they, they won for sure. Okay. A lot of things that can eat up this uh, Binding of the Old Gods. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Pretty sure they have another Magma Opus, though. We 
We don't want to give them too many things to hit with their magma opus. We're not going to win this match. They gotta cast their magma opus now if they're gonna do it. Or smart or swirling mists. This deck is pretty cool. They're not as annoying. And I have answers for Hanada, which sucks. But, uh, they're playing correctly. Target my lands, I float my mana. Are they gonna kill my butler finally? They're gonna decide. Once again, they did the thing where they they. I guess that's what that's part of. Okay, that made they make that makes sense. They wanted to cast it for free. They need to target everything for one. That makes sense. I, I it makes more sense now. I didn't automatically distribute the damage. I have two black floating. We're good. If I floated green, I could have actually gotten rid of both of these and then replayed. That was a mistake on my part. This might have been a culling ritual turn. I'm an idiot. I should have floated green. I had enough black too. I don't even know why I floated. Well, that's because I wouldn't be able to hold up. My plan was to do this. Hold up, you know, enough for a sec. I definitely should have uh, thought about my turn. Thought about the magma opus a little bit longer. I would have killed both their four fours here, and now it's gonna be like almost impossible for me to resolve this calling ritual comfortably anyway. We're at six. We're really far from death. We're really not far from death. Like one more magma opus wins here. Deal four, tap two, attack. How many have they cast? Two? Three? If they have their last magma opus, they win. I mean... Definitely should have thought about my calling ritual turn there, though. That would have been a, the difference between winning and losing. And this is the other thing about my deck that I, is definitely like an issue, is I have like no fatties, so it's very hard to find them. And if you don't find them, you're kind of fucked. They're, they're so free, like, they just need to cast March, and they win. That works, too. Alright. Please, no sideboard bug. Cool. I can do this. <sighs> do the fatties matter? Does the mill matter? The mill does not matter. Mill doesn't do anything for us right now. These are all fine though. I could probably drop the Dockside Chef if we're being honest. Let's think. This is fine. We don't have any way. We should have one calling ritual. No, we're trying to be more proactive. We have Infernal Grasps. I don't like the Magma Opus. Yeah, this is fine. This is correct. Dress is correct. Go Blank is correct. If we're not milling as much, we don't need you. Don't need you. I mean, we'll just probably fine. We keep mulch, drop the dock sides. Dock sides are good for grinding though, so we drop that, I guess. Gotta make two cuts. I guess we drop one diagraph. We're not really milling, so I guess we just drop all the diagraphs and keep one. Because they might now put in like a test of talents, and it's kind of useless against diagraph, but I don't know if that matters. They're just going to test of talents, might go blanks, or my infernal grasps. And all these other stuff are fine. This is probably not a good sideboard, but that's what I got. Their sideboard literally doesn't exist for me, though. They have one thing in their sideboard that does anything. And it's nothing. <laughs> they, they literally have nothing. Like, one smoldering egg is, like, their best thing. Play first. Mono black. Sneak. No duress, but we have everything we need. I think I'm gonna main phase my dispute. Cause 
because we've got to play around, you know. All kinds of stuff. What else are we playing around? Where's my command? Oh, i got to fix my, fix my camera. I mean, it's fine right here. But I guess I should move it up here. Hardcast Burning Room Demon on turn four. It's not bad. We have enough mana for a lot of things. I guess we're pitching a forest or something. What do you have for one blue? What the fuck? I have no idea what they have for one blue. Very weird. Okay. I could loot, try and find a one drop here. It's fine. We want to hold up Infernal Grasp for just to some extent. We have treasure, so we'll drop a swamp. Oh, Juari. Oh, perfect. See, that's why I should have. If I had drawn that last turn, we'd be in a great spot here. All right, we are playing around a Juari. Juari's their next land. I want to get rid of Prismari. We can play around Juari. What am I talking about? Juari's useless here. Let me just go black. Pass. Juari's useless, even though it's a land for turn. Prismari ramps them, loots them, gets rid of their useless wraths here. And now we just resolve a 6-6, six, six, and they can't really do anything. 6-6, six, six, that draws a card, by the way. Please don't have a disdainful stroke or something right after I do this. I'd scoop if they, had, <laughs> if they got the counterspell for that. Alright, we get two options here. One of them is definitely Diagraph Rebirth. The other one... Let's go blank, maybe. Another duress? We don't need another duress. Tox room? Nah. Invoke despair? Nah. Alright, let's just do this, I guess. Binding plus a go blank or an invoke. Invoke is pretty good. We'll do that. We have all removal here, so we're just chilling. We are just chilling. They can't kick a Cinderclasm either, so they don't want to go for attack. Okay, we get a Binding, which is probably the correct thing for them to pick. Okay, moment of truth. They hit the land. Can't really do anything, though. Uh, yes, resolves. Uh, attack you for six. I don't like that I don't have that much mana left over, though. I would have liked another threat, picking a creature, but I figured another thing of removal would be better. Just Dis discourages them. Because they've only got like three more draws to find an answer, and they don't really have answers for this Burning Rune Demon. It's got too much health. And they need to wait too much. I'm surprised they didn't foretell their Crush of the Week. Like, it's free. Do they not understand how Crush of the Week works? Crush of the Week is one of my favorite cards in the meta. Any deck that I've run in the last... Any red deck I've run since uh, Ghast came into the meta... Swirling Mist. Swirling Mist is actually really clever with uh, Goldspan too. There's definitely a deck here. Uh, I guess we're just going to double down on the removal. Let them get their treasure. 
but uh, kill him under the thing. This is probably not correct, but I just really wanted to get this off. Plus now their treasures are, rather than have them having four treasures and a lot of other stuff to work with, they're at a disadvantage. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, it's so tempting to play that land. We definitely hold on to it for now. There's a world where you're binding their uh, treasures, by the way. There is a world where you're binding their treasures, by the way. I'm actually low-key kind of interested in just getting a shambling gas back. That doesn't work because I have the thing. I want to. I want to get this clock closer, and we can't get the clock closer. I think we have to hold this Takanuma. Takanuma. We only have five more seven drops in the deck, so I don't think it's going to make a difference. If we draw one, we'll just play our land. So I think we definitely hold. Burning Rune Demon. Really good against Goldspan. Alright, here we go. They pass. <laughs> Woo! Even if they remove this Burning Rune Demon, it's just like... I just get it back with Rebirth now. Get another draw. Oh, they've got the Tapper? Yeah. See, that's what that was part of it, right? What I was thinking about. I was like, we can do Binding of the Old Gods. Kill one of their treasures. It was actually correct to do that. Stop the top deck uh, Magma Opus, for example. We don't need the green. Green is like such a bait. We also have a treasure. They were actually supposed to tap the treasure, I think. Them trying two cards is not fun, though. Oh, yeah, I have to... Oh, I should have floated. I didn't realize. I thought we moved to our... I wasn't paying attention. I literally thought we were at the beginning of combat. I don't know why this stop was in my main, because I could have floated that mana. I gave my opponent the benefit of the doubt that he was. they were doing this in the beginning of combat. I would have floated grain for sure, and then played my uh, binding here. But now that I've failed to pay attention to what phase we were in... We're going to take 4 damage here, which is not what I wanted to do. Damn. Let's redraw. We don't need the re rebirth right now. And they have a stop on my main. I'm really uh, just um, appalled. Oh, I can't do this now, because I need to play around a uh, stupid gold span. I think we're going to play the Takanema. We're going to play around Takanema? I think we have to, right? Maybe? Uh, fine. <sighs> I don't like giving them a free 4-4, though. I, I'm just so... I'm so sad. I definitely maybe was supposed to float mana there. Have enough to kill the Goldspan. Either way, they're on a, like, desperate clock. They're very low on health. Beginning of combat, please. Let me show my opponent how you're supposed to do it. Boop. I don't mind Swirling Mist in this spot. Taking a lot of damage, but they're low too. There's also a world where I hit their treasure here, but it's definitely got to be this because we're dead to exactly gold span plus what's it called? Hard fight. Definitely gonna be a tough game game three, but hopefully we get a better start with more discard and then we just pick their hand apart, go from there. And not a. Uh... I mean they gotta jump. Wait no they don't. I just cast another binding. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna play that. Very good negate. 
Had to go for the win there, though. I, I think this game is over, though, because they have the chump. I've got all the world, all the power right now. I could have just attacked, but... I don't mind the perfect information we got here. Oh, that's right. Did not consider that. Yeah, we're going to lose our uh, Burning Rune Demon to kicked Cinderclasm. I mean, we just get it back with Diagraph. They're not in a great spot. We can honestly talk Nama for it if we wanted. They've got one turn. Wow, good top deck. Ooh, that works. Ooh, what a win. Round three. I don't see us winning this. All right, what did we learn? Mulch is useless, that's for sure. Meat hook is useless. Outlander's useless. Shigeki's useless. Kalini's useless. Diagraph's useless. Yeah, these are all my useless cards, and these are my 60 cards I used last time, so I don't think we need to make any changes. This is... Oh, man. I just... Any any root, red, blue deck, any counterspell decks just throw me so, so off. So, so off. They're going to side out a couple of their uh, Wraths, though. <laughs> I love that they sideboarded in for more Wraths, and I'm just like, I'm not playing that deck anymore, bro. <laughs> that's what I, that's, that's a really key part of any like good deck building, you know, is the ability to have an entirely different strategy and like upending your opponent's like strategy, right? And I saw that they had no good cards in their sideboard, and they still over-sideboarded. Ugh, oh, what a fucking joke. I am a little light on lands in this deck, so this is definitely, like, coming. We're never going to resolve a Toxril, so I guess we just take this and run with it. Alright, good start, good start, good start. Oh no, we don't want to, don't want to play into the, uh, spike field hazards. No spike field hazard, what? <laughs> we really need this draw next turn. Uh, their best thing they can do here is Mountain, Crush the Weak, and I lose. I would have expected them to foretell if they had Crush the Weak, though. Oh, so close. So close. I need to hit my land drop, so I'm going to have to do this now. Tap land. Snarl. I'll take it. It's not the land I wanted. It's the land I deserved. I have six forests in this deck, and I hate every one of them, but I need them. I need them because of the stupid Shigeki. I literally only need two forests because of Shigeki. Okay, they didn't play Hanada, which makes sense. Oh, okay. They have four mana open. What are we doing? I don't think they have burned down the house, but they might, because it's also an attack spell. They might most likely have uh, Prismari Command, which is pretty good here. I think I'm just going to pass. We have mana open for Infernal Grasp. We'll go blank later. I want to put a threat down, but they're they're reaching capacity for some dangerous stuff. And if they ever press Mari Command, I want to have Dockside Chef mana open. Here comes the gold span. <sighs> I like using Binding the Old Gods on gold span more, but we'll take what we get. Test of Talents is rough. The gate's fine. Second negate would not make me happy. I don't mind a Juari, though. I have something. Goblin doesn't do anything. Ugh. 
I hate this. <sighs> Missing lands, having to mull. A lot of bad stuff happened in this game. This binding is all I have. If they resolve Hinata, we're in trouble too. Okay. Swirling Mist is probably coming down, so we just concede after that. Go Blink will be really nice next turn, though, if we can get there. Swirling Mist is so good here. Yeah. They have Magma Mana. They have a Grass. Let's go blank, see what happens. If I had a land drop, I'd feel really good about paying this. Echo Blink. That, that, that Juari makes no sense. This this Juari makes literally zero sense. That was not really worth it. It's not really deramping me. I'm just rolling this down. Your top decks are really good here. We really need to resolve this grasp right now. So we'll start there. Death touch, woo! They have something. Okay. Oh my goodness, if you have a fucking. One creature I can ping for. We need to ping, and we need to get this threat down. Because if they don't play any mana, we need to uh, get out of range. And we need to threaten nighttime because a four four. Four four is really good. And our clock's not too far away. We're really close. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do this now. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight. I think we gotta do this now. Okay. Ooh, that gives me not enough life, right? Only gains three. We need to hit a creature. Oh, we can. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. I have a plan. Oh, I have a plan. This is going to be very close. I think I have to loot away this ghast. Maybe I should have done this pre-comment to get an extra ping off, but I think I need to resolve this bookworm to get me one more health. What did I cast? Oh, I cast two spells. We're going to go to daytime. That's not good. Okay, well, if I cast two spells, I think our best option... These forests, man. I have four forests. If one, if this was just a swamp, I'd be in such a better position right now. Because I don't want to have to use this treasure. I need this treasure to cast my uh, thing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight for that. Oh man. But we can remake a treasure. Oh, we can. We can. There's a lot of ways we can do this, right? We're trying to find a way to 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 gain one life. We can also hit the gold span with the ghast, minus one. This life total decision is really tough. I want to get something in the yard. I want to resolve a bookworm. I think our best bet... Where's our timer set? I have three minutes on my opponent. 
this decides everything. Like, this is the turn that decides everything. We need a way to gain life now. So I think we need to play the Ghast. This sucks. We need to be able to deal one damage, or minus one, to the gold span to play around one burn spell right now. Is the issue. Okay, they didn't play a burn spell, but they can still top deck one. We're gonna have to minus one pre-combat, which really feels bad. We have to play around a burn spell, otherwise we lose. They have so much mana. We're dead to Magma Opus no matter what, so it's, you know, good game. Okay. Man, if that did 3 damage, I'd feel so much better right now, because I'd sack the Ghast. We're not going to be able to play the Bookworm. I think we need to pitch the Bookworm. Because if we draw Infernal Grasp, I'll go for the Infernal Grasp. We don't need the treasure, I just need the health. We're playing around exactly Spike Field Hazard. And not going to nine is also rough. We needed to get just a little bit more health to get through this. I think we're gonna lose. If we draw exactly for Infernal Grasp or Binding, we have a good chance to, to turn it around. Good game. Tough turn. Tough, tough turn. Like resolving a bookworm would have won us here, right? I was, I was playing around a lot of different things. Bookworm would have bought us a turn, and then we'd, we'd have two lethal threats. Could have won this game. Can't know that, though. It's unfortunate. Bookworm strat might have been the better, better play there. Good game. All right, so loss. GG. Should have gone for bookworm instead of digging for removal. <sighs> All right, my opponent just told me they did have the spike field, so I played around the loss. Awesome first game. Really awesome opponent. Shoutouts to Gon Burigon. Great name, by the way. That was a very fun game. And I played I played around the loss. I, I, I counted my outs to losing, and it, it was correct. Alright, next pairing. Right, next pairing. Hello.
I'm happy with the way I played that round. I'm just really sad I drew two lands. Really great job for my opponent. Really, really happy with that first match. That was awesome. Once again, shouts to Gone Very Gone. Very friendly opponent. What a match. This was a fun match. I was very happy with that, even though it was a loss. It was, look at these margins, like... <laughs> two health was all I needed. Uh, if I did this, if I did some things a little differently, I was trying to draw specific things, you know, use the Deadly Dispute, but if I kept it nighttime, I think I probably could have swung a victory here, because that would have been two more life I would have gained. Under certain conditions. Very close game. A lot of there's definitely a way I could have played this last round a little better. I was trying to be proactive, draw while they didn't have counters. I wasn't thinking about nighttime. But if I had thought about nighttime a little more carefully and, and navigating my uh, drains, there might have been a, a, a line to victory here, but overall I think this this last game was played as best as it could. I don't think there was any difference to this outcome. It was just not drawing three lands, you know? Three lands was brutal. Five of my six forests. Very unfortunate. Invoke to spare winds here, for example. I think. Yeah, invoke, oh, invoke to spare would have won because I would have been able to play the snarl. So I think the only misplay my opponent did in this last match, though, was uh, playing the two Juaris when I could pay both. Right, taxing me a treasure might have been relevant because I am a reanimator list and I like I I do want mana and I also missed a couple lands if I'm not mistaken, but uh, yeah. Taxing the mana is exactly what I was. He just mentioned that.
Honestly, I would have won that game if I if I didn't draw forests. It's crazy. I'm thinking about it more and more. Me wasting that treasure, like I mean, assuming they don't have a Jawari. If they draw a Jawari there, I, I can't resolve a bookworm. Uh, but like if I resolve the bookworm, I have the health to survive, I have the two threats, like I said. These forests actually cost me the game. That's so unfortunate. And I would cut two forests for a dark poor pathway if I had them. But I'd still have four fours, so I theoretically could still be in this spot where I have three fours. But either way, I'm not going to dwell on it. My mana base definitely could be improved and better. Uh, I don't have the, the perfect mana base because I don't want to waste my uh, rares, even though I've wasted a lot of rares on very dumb things. But like a Dark Boar Pathway would have been a better thing to have than a forest there. Because then I can save my, uh, save my treasure, cast the Bookworm, follow that strat, and then win with two, th two lethal threats. Doesn't guarantee, you know, they can have a they could have a march of swirling mists, right? If we were both playing perfectly, for example, right? I, and I agree with their treasure play, like taxing me a treasure definitely sets me back. But like if they had saved that swirling mist when uh, I used go blank, like that swirling mist could have been the the time walk they needed to get that next round, even though I healed. A lot of a lot of angles to it, but the the lands cost me there because my treasure I needed to uh, get the three health, which would have been the difference. Cheers, 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 cheers. 